you have analysis, which is the ring gear, planet chart, and the side, sun gear, you also have the arm. So, planetary gears, planetary gears, they can be two, you can fit another one there, or they can be three, you fit another one there, and another one there with the arm. Those gears are mostly used in automatic transmission. Let me put another planet chart there. When you view it from the side, you will have your analysis like that. Planet chart. This analysis, planetary, sun gear, and also analysis. <coughs> TA is equal to TS plus QTP. When you want to calculate or you are not given number of teeth is either analysis or a sun or planetary, you can use this formula. This formula it was driven using PCT center distance as well as PCT as well as the module. At the end, the it was that formula. This formula, it does not matter how many planetary you have. It's always like this. Even if you have only one planetary, you do not have the bottom one. This formula will remain like that. It will help you on calculating number of teeth. In this case, this analysis, it mesh with the planetary, and planetary mesh with the sun. So the module for this one, it must be the same as this one. The module for this one, it must be the same as this one. Because these two, they mesh together, ne? and these two, they mesh together. So the module must be the same. That is the reason we ended up having this formula. So, <clears throat> let us look on we have gear number one and gear number two. A gear and the pinion. If we rotate gear number one clockwise, in which direction will gear number two rotate? <laughs> and clockwise, ne? If we rotate gear number one, one revolution. How many legs will this make? Will it be more than one, or will it be less than one? Sorry? No. More than one? Less than one? 
Okay. Between gear number one and gear number two, which one will rotate faster? Gear number two will rotate faster, ne? The reason gear number two rotate faster when this one rotate when it makes one revolution, it means this one has made more than one revolution because it's smaller. You understand me? When this makes one revolution, this is supposed to it has made many revolutions. Meaning when the bigger one rotate one revolution, this one to it makes more revolution than the bigger one. So, on calculating or calculations on epicyclic gears depend on the ratios of the gear. And there's also a method which we need to follow. There's a method which we need to follow. The method remain like that, does not change. Meaning you can memorize the method. So we will consider a clockwise rot a, 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 a rotation as positive and anti-clockwise rotation as negative. And when you rotate, you must rotate a larger gear. You must rotate a larger gear. When you rotate, you must always rotate a larger gear. So, remember, we have T1 over T2 as a ratio. So this T, for epicyclic gears, as you would be using the ratio, this T, the first T, it must be for the one which you have rotated. And this one, it must, this one it must be the one which you have it, it, it's been driven, but the one which you have rotated. So in this case, if we rotate this clockwise, that means it will be T1, which is positive, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, because it's going to go on the opposite direction, it's going to be negative. negative. So let us look on this one. We have this bigger gear, we have this one, and we also have this, this one. Gear number one, number one, two, three. This, this one is just the center of the shaft. So let us write the gear issues. The gear ratio of this one, it will be T what? T? T what? T2. T3 divided by T2. I think we start here. I said which one we rotate? The finger one. Yeah? Yes, we will take the bigger one. So as we will take the bigger one, and it's the one which we need to put it at, at top. So now we will be rotating this bigger one clockwise. What will be the direction of this one? Positive. Positive. Direction of this one? Negative. Negative. So what will be the gear ratio for gear number one? T? T2. Remember I said we always start from the one which we have rotated. It's T3. T3 
Is it positive or negative? Positive over T1. The ratio, remember, it works for the gears that mesh together. Does T1 mesh with T3? It does not mesh. So the ratio works for the gear that mesh together. So it's obvious we're going to say T2 because T3 it messes with T2. So here it's negative. Né? We are again going to multiply with T2 over T1. This is still negative. There is positive. You understand? Eh? T3 drives T2. T2 drives T1. That is why it's like this one. T2 is T1 is being driven by T2. T2 is being driven by T3. So let us look on the method of calculating we have a method which we must always follow the method for me is, is best explained on the old textbook so I will be using that one but after you see that the old book and the new book they talk the same thing it's just that the language which they use is it, it differ so <coughs> first you must fix the up that's the method you must first fix the arm you will take the larger gear clockwise, one revolution. You multiply by x and you add y. So, okay. Let us put this method in practice. Just the number of conditions. Condition number one, number two, number three. We have a planetary gear input shaft on the sun gear and we also have a planetary gear. Mm. And we start with the one with where we have a, a drawing so that we can see what is it that we are talking about. Let me use this drawing so that you can see what we are talking about. We have this one, it's your ring gear, planetary, sun gear, and other two planetary gears this is sun gear planetary 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 even though there are, there are three we are going to consider only one this one is analysis so our planetary gear it have 20 number of teeth then this one is an arm, this one is a sun with 40 teeth, and 
analysis is eight number of teeth. So the, the question on this one it says the output shaft is connected to the arm carrying the planetary gear and the input shaft to the sun gear which is rotating at 300 hertz per minute in a clockwise direction. Assuming that the analysis is fixed, calculate the speed and direction of rotation of the output shaft. Assuming that the analysis is fixed. So that one does not fall under conditions or under a method. The method says, number one, you need to fix the arm. So meaning here, we should have an arm. After having an arm, we have the ring gear, which is gear A. Gear A is analysis. Eh? So after analysis, we have what? Gear, gear P, which is what? Planetary. After planetary, we have another gear, which is here, gear S. And what else do we have? We have only those ones, eh? Yes. Those are the conditions. We need, we need to consider the conditions. What does, does the condition say? Fix the arm. Fix arm. When you fix arm, what will be the rotation of the arm when you fix it? When you fix it, it's no longer rotating. Eh? Yes, when you fix it, it's no longer rotating. It's fixed so that it does not rotate. So what will be the rotation of the arm? It will be zero. So, after fixing the arm, we need to rotate the bigger gear one revolution. We need to rotate the bigger gear one revolution, meaning rotate which one do we rotate here? We rotate what? Analysis, man. We rotate gear A. How many revolution? One revolution. Direction? Clockwise. So it means this one will rotate it one revolution clockwise. So this one we have rotated it one revolution clockwise. Let me draw it in this manner. That one is this one here. And they will have sun bear and planetary A S P. So what would be the gear ratio of P? Gear ratio of P. Sorry? Is T what? T A over T minus T over T over T over T over T are you, we have rotated this one, right? Mm -hmm. So this one, is it not meshing with this one? Mm -hmm. So we need a, a, a ratio for this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So this one will drive this one. That is why we are starting there. We are rotating, yeah. rotating that one. That's why we are saying T A over T P. What is the direction of A? So why is it positive or negative? Positive. And the direction of P? And clockwise. Clockwise. It's positive as well. Who does not understand? Do you all understand the directions? Why well, they're all going clockwise? Sorry? No. The only time they will go to opposite direction, if this one they mesh from outside, when, when, the, when there's a teeth here, it's pushing the teeth there. This teeth, it will, the teeth here, it will push this. I think this one is rotating to this direction. So there's a tooth there, which it will push this tooth there. So this tooth being pushed, it will make this gear to rotate on this other direction. So this one, you have a ring. The ring, the tooth is inside. And you also have this one. The tooth is outside. Can you see? So this, this one is going to this direction. The this teeth is pushing this teeth to go to this direction. Uh, this one is pushing to this direction. It means even this teeth, it will push this gear to go to this direction. Mm -hmm. Meaning because this one, this one is inside of this one. At the end, they go to the same direction. They only go to the opposite direction if they mesh from outside. If the other one is inside the other one, they go to the same direction. You understand that part, me? Yes. Yes. So in this case, both of them they are positive. Is plus T A over T P plus T P, which is A T over. 20 and what do we get? We get 4, right? Eh? Yes. yes. So now we come to S. What will be the ratio for S? TA over TP, right? A sign here? Positive. Positive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Times T A positive over T S negative is equals to. I do not have a space to substitute the number of T. Huh? Uh -huh. This is wrong, man. This is T P. Yes, this is T P, man. And this TP, if you check, and that TP cancel, right? Mm -hmm. So when you start to shoot, what do you get? 80 divided by 40 is 2, ne? Right? That is 2. So from there, what do you do? The second condition says you need to add, you need to add x, no, multiply by x and add y. We need to multiply by x and add y. You understand me? So what, which, you multiply the first condition by x and you add the first condition by y. In this case, is 0x plus y, ne? which means it would be y. So here x plus y here 4x plus y and this one is negative then negative two x plus y so the method ends here the method is the second condition you multiply the first condition by x and you add y. So on the on for this one, I think this is a condition. You multiply by x and add y. So okay, we start. Multiply by x 
which means it's 0 times x, what you get? 0, ne? plus y. That's why it's y. You come to this one. 1 multiplied by x is x, ne? plus y. Then, 4 multiplied by x, 4x plus y. Minus 2 multiplied by x, negative 2x plus y. You understand that one? Eh? Yes. So from there, the next condition, it will come on the equation. For instance, on this one, it says assume that analysis is fixed. Calculate the speed and direction of rotation of the output shaft. Here, the, number three, it must come from the equation. It says assume that analysis is fixed. Which, which gear is analysis? Gear A, eh? Because A is fixed, what would be the, the, the speed here? Zero. Zero. And which one do we supposed to calculate? They say, assume that the analysis is fixed, calculate the speed and direction of rotation of the output shaft. Output shaft, where is it connected, the output shaft? Where does the speed, which is supposed to calculate? The speed at, at what? Look here, listen. Assume that the analysis is fixed, calculate the speed and direction of rotation of the output shaft. Where is output shaft connected? So listen, listen to me. The output shaft is connected to the arm carrying the planetary gear. Where is the output where is the shaft connected? Sorry? Calculate the speed and direction of the rotation of the output shaft. Meaning you need to find where is, where is the, 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 the output shaft. Okay. Output shaft is connected to the arm. Where do we calculate the speed? The speed of what? The speed of the arm. I think here they said the, the, the output shaft is connected to the arm. Mm -hmm. And here they want the speed of the shaft. Sh shaft, output shaft is connected to the arm. Meaning knowing the speed of the arm, you know the speed of the output shaft. Do you understand? Eh? Mm -hmm. So here, here is the arm. You are looking for the speed there. That is what you are supposed to calculate. But does not end there. Yet they also say this input shaft. I think that's why it was the output. They said the input shaft to the key to the sun gear. Meaning the input shaft is connected to the sun gear and is rotating at 300 rev per minute. Sun gear is this one. Rev per minute. We, I give the speed of a sun gear, right? Which is 300. We are told to fix A is zero. We need to calculate the, the arm. That is why I wrote it like that. This condition, this, these conditions are fixed, ne? always is like this one for all planetary gears. But this one, it will depend on the equation. What does the equation fix? What is it that you need to, to calculate? So, okay. Let us look on that one. So now you take this condition 
you equate with this condition. Therefore, y is equal to n a. Y is equal to the speed of the arm. X plus y is equal to zero. That is equation one. This one I won't use it because I have nothing here. Two x minus two x plus y is equal to three hundred. This is equation two. Mathematics equation one minus equation two. This is mathematics, ne? Equation one minus equation two. You solve them simultaneously or you substitute. Which one is, is substitution or adding? Substitute, ne? So if substitution is easy, we can say x is equal to minus y. This is equation three. So in the place of x, we will substitute y, ne? And, and we cannot substitute at equation 1. We substitute at equation 2. Mathematics. Minus 2 into? Negative y. Negative y. Plus? Is equal to? 300. Sorry? 2y. 2y. 3y. 300. Therefore, y is equal to 100. Mm -hmm. So, so y, 2y plus y. 2y, this, this, this plus this one. Oh. Yeah. So, we all get that one. So, the y is equal to. It's equal to ny. Mm -hmm. So, meaning na is equal to 100 ref per minute and the answer is positive then eh? yeah we we'll got the positive answer so the answer being positive that means it's 100 ref per minute okay let us do example 5.12 mm -hmm. page 134 Example We have the ring gear A, which is analysis. We have a plat platinum 2 and, and 1. We also have a sun gear S. We also have the shaft there. So this example does not indicate if the analysis is also connected to any shaft. Mm. It says the sun gear S10 400 rev per minute clockwise and the analysis A10 at 50 rev per minute anti clockwise. The planet gear P1 and P2 are connected to the same shaft gear S A P one and P two have a those tip respectively. So what is written here is what I have drawn there. The only thing which is missing is to indicate the number of teeth. S it has fifteen, right? Then A 
is 55. P1, P1 is 25. And P2 is 15. Do you understand the way they place those teeth? Ne? They say re respectively. Meaning, if you check there, they started with S, they said A, they said P1 and P2. So those, those number of teeth, it, it, it goes together. Because this side start S, it means the first number is for S. The second one is the one which follows, which is A. You understand that one? Eh? Yes. So now, we need to calculate the number of revolution and the arm. The arm is this one here connected between planet or planetary one and the, and the sun. There, there's our arm and it's given as L on this example. So, <clears throat> those are the implicitly gears. And we said to calculate, we follow the method. We need the table. In this table, firstly, we are going to number the condition which we have condition one, condition two. Those are the conditions which we are going to write here. After condition, now we start putting our gears. We can start with the arm, we can start with analysis and end with the arm, no problem. Let us start with analysis which is gear A. And then comes gear, gear P, P2, ne? yes, gear P2, then is gear P1, then is gear S. S. Mm -hmm. And then what's the last? It's arm, ne? Arm L. So we said condition number one and condition number two, they are always fixed. At condition number one, what do we do? We fix what? We fix arm. So after fixing arm, what will be the regulation at the arm? Zero. And what, what do we do? At condition number one, sorry, rotate. rotate. Which one do we rotate? Analyze, ne? The bigger gear. Rotate gear A. How many revolutions do we rotate it? We rotate it one revolution. Direction? Clockwise. And clockwise is positive, ne? Yes, so that is the first condition. So after that, we need to get gear ratio for P1 and P2 and also S. So from here, we said to get the, 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 the ratio, well, you must start from the gear which you drive. So now we have drive analysis. Right? We have drive, we have rotated analysis. So it means we are going to start at analysis. Meaning the first one will be TA over what? Over T P2. Ne? Yes. Sign here. Positive here. Positive. Then it's equals to 55 over 50, and what do we get?
So, okay, we are done with, it's positive, right? We are done with P2. Now we go for P3. No, P1. Here is our P1. But remember which one do we rotate? We rotate this one, eh? yeah. meaning our ratio must start from this one. Right? Yes. So, what would be the ratio at P1? Sorry? Do we need to calculate? No. We don't need to calculate. Why? What what would be the we are talking about the ratio? Not the speed, the ratio. Do we need to calculate? No. Why? The shaft, the same is what? I think these two are connected on the same shaft. So meaning once you have for P2, it means you also have for what? P1. P1. Meaning here at P1 is still the same. Plus 667. I think they are connected to the same shaft. Okay, let us see. If we say we calculate, let us see if we can get it. I want to see how to calculate it. How to calculate it? We say T1, TA over TP2, this is what they are saying. Oh, okay, tell me, how do I do? Oh, it's P2, eh? P2, uh -huh. But I will come here. Multiply by? Sorry? T1. TP1 and him? Over negative. Over TS. This one is for TS. Can you see? The last one it must be the one which we are, we are calculating for. So this one will be for TS. I want for T for this one. We do not calculate because it's the same as that one. When what you need to know is you need to know that because these two they are connected on the same shaft, the speed for these two is the same, revolution for these two is the same. Even the, 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 the ratio is the same. You understand that one? Eh? So now we can go for S. Here S, you, you already given it to me, is this one. He said plus over TP2 is also plus, ne? Multiply by TP1 over negative TS. Most this one you still, you still remember, ne? TA is the one which we drive. So TA mesh with with P2. So because they mesh together, it's like that one. So, P2 So now, P2 is connected to the same shaft with this one. So, P1 mesh with S. And because they are meshing up from outside to outside, when the other one rotates positively, the other one will rotate negatively. Or in the opposite direction. So, what you get there when you substitute, here are the values on the board. There's no need for me to substitute. You can just give me the final answer as I do not have a space there. Sorry? Negative 6, comma? Negative? Negative 6, comma 1, 1, 1. Yes, negative 6, 111. Can you see on the book how they calculate? Mm -hmm. But we, we still get to the same answer. That is what I was talking about it yesterday that the theory might differ, but 
the same, they talk the same story. If you check in the book, they used, remember, the input speed, input speed over output speed. Is this not a ratio? It's a, it's a speed ratio, right? Eh? Then they say it's equal to the teeth, the product of driving teeth over the product of driven teeth. So they got it there. This is that is why you, 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 it's like that. Yeah. So okay. We said condition one and condition two is always standard. So at condition two, what do we do? We do what? We multiply by x, then we add y. What would be the answer then? X plus y. X plus y. Mm -hmm. This one? 3, 3, 6, 6, 7. X plus Y, eh? same applies here. X plus Y minus 6, 1, X plus Y here, it's Y. So, here, we have two questions, so I will make two, 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 two rules. We have two questions. So the first question, we will write it there. The second question, we will write it there. Under the first question, what is it that they want us to calculate? <laughs> of the arm, eh? Here is the arm. Meaning they want us to find the speed there. And then, at, at number P, what is it that they, they want us to calculate? The yeah. ref of P1, eh? meaning here we are looking for NP1. Yeah. Are we not given any speed somewhere? Yeah. We are given a speed. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The speed of what? Yeah. The, the, the speed of yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the speed of gear S, what is it? 400. 400. Is it under question A or is it under question B or is it for both? Oh. It's for both, right? Mm -hmm. So it means here is 400, ref per minute, positive or negative? Positive. Positive, 400, ref per minute, positive. And what else? It's done. Yes. The analysis. Yes. Even the analysis, the speed is for both. Yes. Yes. And what is the speed? Negative. Negative? 350. 350. 350. Negative 50. Ref per minute. Negative 50. Ref per minute. So, okay. Let us start solving this. I can take this out. This is no, no use anymore. They want this one. So let us start with what they want. And then, the la lastly, okay, well, let us start with number question A. Question A, they want this one, right? Yes. Meaning Y is equal to ML. I think it will take this one and equate with this one. Then, this one we can, that is what we are, we are looking for. Then this one equals to this one is minus six comma one 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 x plus y is equals to four hundred, right? This we can make it equation one. We also have this one we cannot use because there's nothing here. Even with this one, there's nothing. It's different from this one. Here there's zero. We can use that one. When there's zero, we can use it. But when there's nothing, we can we can't. So that one we have x plus y is equals to negative 50 equation 2. You, you said you prefer substitution method. Yes. So we make what subject the formula? X. X, right? Yes. X is equals to negative 
Negative, negative 50 minus y. minus y. This is equation 3. So you substitute which equation? Equation 3. Into equation 1. Into equation 1. We are going to have negative 6, 6,111 into minus 50 minus y close brackets plus y is equals to 400. Six minus six comma one 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 times negative fifty. What do you get? Sorry. Three o five comma five five six. It's positive, eh? Yes. And then we also have plus six one. seven y. Six. Seven comma one 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 y. Yes. It's close to four hundred. Yes. So what will be the value of y? Sorry? The value of y? What do you get? Y? Sorry? 28 right per minute. This is positive, eh? therefore, you can also conclude that is 18,28 right. And number seven, page 139. Number seven.
Okay. Yeah, I will read the question. I won't write it down. Refer to a bicyclic gear system shown in figure 5.48. That is the figure. The analyst has 80 teeth. The sun gear D has 40 teeth. And the planet gear B has 20. The planet gear is mounted on the carrier arm C. Assume that the analyst is fixed and that the sun gear D rotates clockwise six at 60 rev per minute. So if you check there, after that we have 7.1 and we also have 7.2. Those are the questions. So what I read so far that one it covers for both of these two you understand me so 7.1 it will come with its condition and 7.2 it will come with its condition and the condition which i have read here it does not affect condition one and condition two remember i said assume that the analyst is fixed and the sun gear D rotate clockwise at 60 rev per minute. That one does not affect this two. Ne? So these two remain as we know them. So what is the first condition? Fix the arm. Fix arm. L. And after fixing arm C, not L, arm C, it will rotate zero. Ne? And what you do? Rotate which one? Rotate A, one revolution plus one there. So let us check the gear ratio at B. Gear ratio at B it will be T A over T D. So sign. Positive? Positive. Positive. I want to say TV. Sorry? TV. Over TV. Okay, thanks. Because A is machine with B, eh? Yes. Okay. So I'm not going to substitute. I just need the final answer. You just need the number of teeth there. Oh. It's positive 4. Then this one is T, T A positive over T -G. plus T B uh -huh. times T what? T B over negative T D. Then what will be the answer? Negative? Two. Negative two. So now the second condition says multiply by, multiply by x. x and you add y. So here what do we have? X 
x plus y. 4x plus y. Negative 2. X plus y. Y. So now we have 7.1 and 7.2. At 7.1, it says the direction of rotation and the number of revolution of the carrier arm C. They are looking for LC here, right? Number two, the direction of rotation and the number of revolution the analyst A make. Analyst A is this one. And a. If the carrier arm C, if the carrier arm C rotates sixty rev per minute, it's anticlockwise, ne? Mm -hmm. So what does anticlockwise indicate? Negative, Negative ne? And the gear, no, and the sun gear D is fixed. Sun gear D is fixed. Yeah. It's zero, right? Eh? So let us check on top A, above. As I said, this one is the condition for A and for number one and number two. Mm -hmm. It says, assume that the analyst A is fixed. Analyst A is fixed. Is this one, eh? But it's obvious that we are not going to use this condition here because on number 7.2 they want us to calculate there. Mm -hmm. We cannot say it's fixed and on the same time we, uh, mm -hmm. we calculate, right? Yes. yes, it means this condition we are not going to use it there. And that the sun gear T rotate clockwise at 60. This one rotate clockwise at what? At 60 right per minute. Even this one, we're not going to use it there because already here they told us to fix it. Mm -hmm. So it means this condition we can only use it at 7.1. The, the, the side is, is it positive or negative? Is it positive? Yes. Okay. So now let us calculate. Let's calculate. After that, then we can go. 7.1, we start with 7.1. 7.1. Now, we equate this one and this one, right? X plus Y is equal to 0. Minus 2. X plus Y is equal to 60. Y is equal to? NC. We need to find NC. So therefore, we have this equation 1 and also this equation 2. From there, we can make equation 3. Ne? Yes. X is equal to? Negative 1. Negative 1. This is equation 3. Substitute. Substitute. Substitute 3 into 2. two. So we we'll have minus 2 into minus y right? plus y is equal to 60. 3y is equal to 60, therefore y is equal to 20. Ref per minute. Is it positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, right? Therefore, we can say uh, nc is equals to 20 ref per minute. Which direction? Clockwise. This question is it not the one we were doing yesterday? It's not, right? Okay. So we will manage to solve 7.1. I do not have a space. Can I erase? X 
plus y is equals to na. That's correct, right? Mm -hmm. Then minus 2x plus y is equals to 0. That is, can be our equation 1. This we cannot make it any equation because it is where there's our speed. Y is equals to? Negative 60. We substitute 2 into 1, which will have minus 2x minus 60 0. x is equal to 30. It's negative 30. Okay. So now, there is our NA. Therefore, NA is equal to x plus y, which, which it will be x is minus 30 plus y is minus 60. Therefore, it's negative 90 ref per minute. So you can just say the 90 ref per minute and direction. <laughs> so that is the end of today's lesson. So you can go home, engineers. Mm -hmm.